in our next problem we are given that if a b and c are the angles of a triangle we need to prove that the system of these three equations have a non trivial solution also now in order to prove that these three equations since the coefficients over here are 0 0 and 0 and we can very clearly see that 0 0 0 satisfy all the three equations hence these three equations have a solution x y z equals 0 0 0 but we need to prove that this system of equations have a non trivial solution also in order to prove that these three equations apart from this trivial solution have a non trivial solution also we need to prove that the determinant of the matrix when we form this de determinant comes out to be equal to 0 if the value is 0 then this system has a non trivial solution the matrix will be or rather the determinant will be sin 2a sin c sin b which are the coefficients of x y and z in the three equations this is sin c sin 2b and sin a and the third row will be sin b sin a and sin 2c we need to prove that the value of this determinant is 0 for the system of equations to have a non trivial solution now what we can do is we can find the values of these sign terms sin 2a can be written as 2 sin a cos a now in a triangle we know that a upon sin a is a constant so this sin a can be written as a constant k times a and this cos a can be written as b square plus c square minus a square upon b c similarly we can write the values of sin 2 b and sin 2 c and similarly sin c can be written as a constant k times c and sin b can be written as a constant k times b hence rewriting the given determinant the first term was sin 2 a which is equal to 2 sin a cos a this becomes 2 into k into a which is sin a into cos a which is equal to b square plus c square minus a square upon b c the second term was sin c which becomes k into c third term was sin b which is k times b here we had sin c which is k times c here we had sin 2 b which is equal to 2 k into b which is sin b value and cos b will be equal to c square plus a square minus b square upon 2 ac and here over here we had sin a which is equal to k into a here we had sin b which is equal to k into b sin a which is k into a and the last term which is sin 2c it is equal to 2 sin c cos c sin c is k into c and cos c is a square plus b square minus c square upon 2ab now what we can do is we can take the k common from this row k common from this row and k common from this row and at the same time multiplying the first row by bc in order to remove this bc from the denominator multiplying the second row by ac and the third row by ab we get ab into bc into ca or rather this will come in the denominator this becomes ab bc ca k common from the first row from the second row and from the third row becomes k cube and this becomes 2a square since we have multiplied this first row by abc or rather bc so this becomes 2a times b square plus c square minus a square this becomes b into c square and this becomes b square into c we multiplied the second row by ac so this becomes ac square this becomes the big term 2b into c square plus a square minus b square 
and this becomes AC into A which is A square C. We multiply the third row by AB, so this becomes AB into B which is AB square. This becomes AB into A is A square B and the third term is this 2C times A square plus B square minus C square and then the constants 2 from over here, 2 from over here and I am sorry I missed a 2 from over here. This 2 and 2, 2 and 2 gets cancelled out and we can rewrite the determinant as k cube upon this is a b c whole square. This is a into b square plus c square minus a square b c square b square c. What we can see is in the first column we have a common. So, we can take a a common this becomes b square plus c square minus a square this becomes c square and this becomes b square. In the second column we have a b common so we can take it out this becomes c square this becomes c square plus a square minus b square and this becomes a square and from the third column a c common so this becomes b square a square and a square plus b square minus c square. Now on solving this determinant we will not expand this determinant to get the value equal to 0. We will do the column operation C2 minus C1 on the column C2 and the operation C3 minus C1 on the column C3. So, this becomes K cube upon ABC times the first column will be same as before because there is no operation involved. This is b square plus c square minus a square, a square, b square or rather c square, b square. c2 minus c1 is this c square gets cancelled out and we get a square minus b square. Here we again get a square minus b square and here also a square minus b square. On doing the operation c3 minus c1 we get b square, b square gets cancelled out and we get a square minus c square. Here we get a square minus c square again and here also b square b square gets cancelled out and we get a square minus c square as the last entry. So, very obviously if we take a square minus b square common from this row from this column and a square minus c square from this column we get k cube upon a b c into a square minus b square into a square minus c square this becomes b square plus c square minus a square this becomes c square this b square and this 1 1 1 and this 1 1 1. Very clearly two of the columns of this determinant are equal are having the same entries. So, the values of this determinant will be equal to 0 and hence the value of our determinant comes out to be equal to 0 which proves that the system of three equations which we had is having a non-trivial solution also. Hence, we have proved the desired result.